Hey look, we've got three operators. Today, we're going to be comparing Thermite, Habana, and Maverick. It's going to get a little crowded. And because of our three operators, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Instead of an operator getting a point for being better at a specific category, an operator will get two points for being good at something, one point for being mediocre, and no points if they're bad at it. Also, I'll be using tallies instead of pictures because I don't have enough space to draw all that. Let's get started. First up, sound. Thermite's breach charge is pretty quiet when it places, loud when it cuts through the wall, and even louder when it explodes. Has a very distinct sound, and at least one defender will hear it. He's not very sneaky. Habana's pellets are loud when they're shot, quieter when they're activated, and just a tad bit louder when they're detonated. She isn't exactly sneaky about her breaches, but she isn't as blatant as Thermite. Maverick's blowtorch is almost completely silent. It is more likely to be seen rather than heard, making him extremely stealthy. Maverick will get two points for his silence, Habana will get one point for being not overly loud or overly quiet, and Thermite will get none because of just how loud he is. Next up, range. Thermite needs to be up against a wall to place down his breaching charge. This can put him in a bad spot or out of position. He's an easy pick if defenders catch him while putting down his charge. He normally needs teammates to defend him if he wants to breach anything. Habana can shoot her pellets at range with her pellet gun. Her range makes her extremely valuable because she can breach without opening herself up to attacks. Maverick has the same range as Thermite and needs to be up against a wall to use his blowtorch. Habana will get two points because of her range and Thermite and Maverick will get none. Next, speed. Thermite's charge is quick to place and quick to detonate. This will give less time for defenders to respond to what you're doing. This will also give you less downtime in between, you know, doing things and waiting for breaches to happen because in Rainbow Six Siege, every second counts. Habana, on the other hand, has to take out her gun, shoot some pellets, reload, shoot some more pellets, reload, press the button, die of old age, and then they'll explode. Habana's speed is a real detriment to her because it gives a lot of time for the defenders to react to what she's doing, and she has to wait a while for the pellets to explode so she can actually advance. Maverick's blowtorch can open up holes at around the same speed of thermite. It's faster or slower depending on the hole. Of course, the holes aren't as big, but that's not Maverick's purpose. Thermite and Maverick will both get two points each for getting the job done quick, and Habana will get none. Next up, quantity. Basically, how much breaching power does an operator have? Thermite can open up two holes that are big enough to walk through. He can also open up two hatches or a combination of both. It's better to open up walls with Thermite because his breach charge makes a bigger hole on walls than he does on hatches because he always makes the same size hole on hatches. Habana can open up one big hole, one murder hole, or up to three hatches. Or, you know, like Thermite, a combination of both. She has a lot of options on how she wants to use her pellets, but they're best used on hatches because she can break and open up three hatches, while if she were to use it against walls, she could open up one big hole and only one murder hole. Maverick's biggest drawback is his fuel consumption. Different size holes will need different amount of fuel. The better your technique with Maverick, the less fuel he'll consume. For example, you have to go a specific speed when it comes to breaking open walls because if you go too slow, you're just wasting fuel on already broken uh, parts of the wall. But if you go too fast, you'll miss the wall and you won't open it. Even with good technique, it still takes a lot of fuel for Maverick to burn down any wall. He's best used to make small little murder holes so that he can save his fuel while still being able to shoot the enemy. Thermite will get two points for being really good at breaching walls, Habana will get two points for being better at breaching hatches, and Maverick will get no points because of the fuel cost of his blowtorch. Next, Bandit Tricked. Bandit tricking is where a bandit will rate by a reinforced wall and place a bandit charge when someone tries to breach the wall. The electricity destroys the attacker's gadget and keeps the wall safe. Thermite's charge detonates fast, but defenders with Valkyrie cameras or mirror windows can still trick fairly consistently. When Habana shoots her pellets, it's fairly loud, so bandits with good headphones can trick you without mirror windows or cameras. Maverick can't be bandit tricked, in fact he actually counters it. His blowtorch can cut a hole in the bottom of a wall and destroy any bandit charges or scare off a bandit trying to trick. So Maverick will get two points for countering bandit tricking, Thermite will get one for having a faster detonation time, and Habana will get none because of her slow detonation time and loud shooting. Next up, weapons. Thermite's assault rifle isn't the best. It hits hard, but a slow rate of fire can make it hard to win some gunfights. Habana has a low magazine size, but she makes up for it with her high fire rate. Maverick's gun is pretty average, and it works in any situation. 
For secondaries, Habana's definitely outplay Thermites and Mavericks. For one, her pistol is pretty good, and even though the Bearing 9 was nerfed, it's still usable. So Thermite and Maverick are going to get 1 point for weapons category, and Habana will get 2. Moving on to gadgets, all of our operators have flashbangs, so we won't be judging them on that. Thermite and Maverick both have claymores, and Habana has breaching charges. I think that claymores are better for hard breaches, because the claymore can cover their 6 while they breach, so they can't get ambushed. Maverick can also burn a hole in the bottom of a wall, and place a claymore through it, and make sort of a makeshift trap. So Maverick and Thermite will both get 2 points for having claymores, and Habana will get 1 for having breach charges. Now for the winner. My favorite operator of the three is Maverick because of his utility and versatility. Just know that this is my opinion and when it comes to choosing these operators it's better to have at least two on your team. Usually just one hard breacher isn't enough so it's best to pair Maverick with Habana or Thermite. And with that thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.